Yo. Shh. Wanna know why I'm stalking people right now? I'm gonna tell you. Right now I'm sitting outside somebody's house. I'm uh I'm around Westchester uh golf club in uh, Westchester County, around the area where where I live in, and I'm like parked outside of somebody's house right now. I don't know exactly who they are. I just know that I like their house. Um, it's an amazing house. I don't know if you could see it over here. I don't want to pull in the driveway. That's really stalking, but it's uh it's in the background over there, and uh, it's a, it's a beautiful house. It almost looks like a castle. And I guess the big question is why the hell am I parked out someone's outside of someone's house right now? I don't even know who they are. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing right now. And what I'm actually doing is I'm I'm shaping my vision of where I want to go. So I'm connecting my goals um, and I'm reminding myself of exactly what I want to do. And I'm going to tell you exactly how important this is for your uh, fitness or any goal that you that you have. So um, I've been doing this for a while now and every about every month, uh, once a month, specifically, not about, but specifically, uh, I usually take a day to myself where I create my vision of uh, you know, my business, I got a couple of them that I got to work on and, uh, really what, what I want in my life. So, um, so I, I take some time to myself. I usually do things a lot different than I do on a normal day. Uh, I wake up a little bit later. Um, I end up kind of cruising around for a little bit and I cruise around these neighborhoods in uh, Westchester County, um, very affluent area. And, um, I do that because, you know, I kind of, kind of like what, Whoever these people are, like their home is is beautiful, and I'm I'm thinking one day that's something that I might want. So uh, so I end up, you know, I spend the whole day kind of like pulling out a notebook and writing out my goals and being very specific about what I want. And then uh, to start before I do all that, before I pull out the notebook, what I do is I just cruise around for a little bit. I I put on some uh, some gangster rap music. Um, that's what I like to listen to and sometimes I just like to cruise by myself and just and just think in general It doesn't happen too often, but now I force myself to do it, right? So I cruise around to these neighborhoods. I play some rap music and I just kind of check out um, These houses and then I start to ask questions, you know, and the first question is like what would somebody have to do? Um, to be able to to live in one of these amazing mansions um, In this area here, you know, like what would they have to do like? what type of work would they have to put in? Um, and then you start getting answers to that. And then the next question I really ask myself is like, what would I have to do to be able to do that? Um, you know, and Tony Robbins talks about this, like the quality of your life is like the quality of the questions that you ask yourself. So I'm always asking questions, you know, whenever I'm, I'm faced with a problem, you, you want to start asking yourself questions. Like, how do you fix the problem? Right. Or what can you do to do X, Y, or Z better? for example, you know? So again, for me, when I have this kind of vision day, I do it once a month where I kind of got to like, you know, think about the direction of my businesses and think about, um, you know, just make sure I'm clear on what I want in my life. Like I'm very clear, very specific about those things. And this is very important for your goals. And this is again, how I tie it into what your goals are. Like in terms of your health and uh, your fitness, like the body you want, um, you need to be specific about what that is and you need to like set the goal. It needs to be a defined number. Numbers are the best way to measure goals. And that's one thing, you know, that's what, that's one thing people do. Like, you know, it's like, Hey, I want to set, like, I know I want to lose 20 pounds or I know like, but they'll set these goals and then they'll forget to continue to kind of look at the goals and remind themselves of how important these things are to them. Right. So you, you'll you'll spend this time like thinking about exactly what you want to get and then you'll do it. You'll shut the notebook or whatever it is that you're working on and then you'll never look back at it again. And uh, that's not very effective for goal setting or reaching or, or getting to uh, a place in your life that really, really kind of works for you. So this is what I'm doing right now is I'm like I'm very specific about what I want in my health goals and my uh, financial goals and my businesses and in my life. And um, that's why I do this right here. I, I, you know, I take my day to kind of uh, make sure I'm, I'm going in the right direction. And I spend a little bit extra time getting outside my normal routine because sometimes you got to back away from 
uh, the stuff that you got to step out of the box a little bit and uh, get into a place where you can think at a higher level. And that's what I'm doing for myself. I'm like, I want to think at a higher level. So I'm going to go like just cruise around and check out what these very affluent people, um, where they live and what they're doing. Because normally I wouldn't drive through this area, right? I wouldn't see this stuff. Um, but I want to take the time to kind of see what these people are doing and ask myself, you know, questions about that. Like, what would they do? What would I have to do to be able to get this? And, and those aren't everybody's goals. Um, you know, they, they might be my goals. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm going to live in Westchester County. Who knows? I may freaking move out of here. Who who knows what's going to happen? But uh, but I know one day uh, my level of success, you know, I, I want that stuff to take me there. And, and of, of course, like money and houses and cars and stuff, that's, that's not... Um, that's not everything in life, so I'm not going to suggest that. I, get, I guess my big question to somebody who would be like, oh, okay, that's not everything. I don't want that would be like, uh, my suggestion would be like, you know, if you were going to pick one way or the other, like, which way would you pick? Would you want the, you know, really nice stuff and the nice house or do you want the, the mediocre stuff? And I'm all about, like, support for people. So, like, if you say, like, mediocre is the way to go and I'm super happy and I'm, you know, everything in my life is going well, like, oh, awesome. Like, you're you're amazing. Like, that's good. You're, you're good right where you're at. But if you're not... You know, you got to think about the things that you want. So in, in no way am I am I saying that having a big, um, nice mansion is going to be the thing that brings you happiness in life. I don't think that. There's other things, and you got to set goals on that stuff also. Um, but when it comes to your fitness, let me tie this all up for you. You're going to set your goals. Chances are, one, they should be specific, but chances are you're going to set your goals, and you're going to forget to continue to remind yourself how important that stuff is to you. So you never go back to it. So uh, this is a big thing with people. You set your goals, but you have to um, set a structure in how often you're going to really look at your goals. Sometimes you got to do that stuff every day. Like you literally got to write them out every day. If it's that important to you and if it's something that you're really dragging on, you should probably write it out every day. Um, but you got to do stuff to ingrain your vision um, and your direction into your psychology, into your nervous system like it's got to be so there the picture's got to be so crystal clear um that it's something that you're constantly moving towards doesn't mean it comes right to you but if you make it so clear in your mind through repetition that this is where you're going uh you got a much better chance of being able to to achieve those things than not so again this is this is what i do like i want a decent amount of success in my life it's not just in in finances let me not confuse anybody and, and have you think that that's the only thing um that i think is important it's not there's other things you got to be happy of course you got to have the right people around you got to have the right relationships um but shit if you ask me like could i have one or the other i'm gonna take that damn mansion over there so i keep creating that vision for myself so very important when it comes to your goals, guys. Make sure you set your goals. Make sure you find a way to constantly remind yourself and make that goal and that vision crystal clear by setting little habits. This is a habit that I put in place once a month. I just cruise around and check out um, this awesome stuff. I got acorns falling on my truck right now. I spilled kum uh, kumbacha all over my Jeep earlier. I was I was on my way to do this, and I spilled kumbacha. I had to end up at the car wash and uh, and clean it up before I even made it out here. Sometimes little things get in the way, but uh, but yeah, this is. Is a, is a nice little vision habit that goes along with your goals. You can't just set goals. Um, you got to make sure you keep reminding yourself exactly where you're going and what you want. And this is what I do. I hope this helps you guys out. Listen, I'm Frank Daniels. Sign up for this channel. Like, leave a comment. And of course, leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel. That was repetitive, but shit, do it. Talk to you soon.